Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my everyday makeup look. Girl, I, I don't even remember the last time I did a makeup routine. But this is like how I do my makeup mostly every day. I do wear makeup about only four to five times a week or even less. Sometimes I just like to let my face rest. I don't feel like taking it on. But for the most part, this is what I do on the average day. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And I know this might be a lot of makeup to some of you. This actually might be nothing. Uh, it really just depends on you. Some people probably don't wear any makeup watching this. The point is we all have different tastes and this is how I do it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of makeup look is your look for an everyday. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, before I apply any foundation, on the face, I like to moisturize. I used to be very afraid of it because I do have very oily skin, but I started to realize that it changed the application of my makeup and it just makes my face feel a lot better. The moisturizer that I have been obsessed with is the Origins. This is the H Defense Moisture with White Tea. It smells so nice. Not just that, but it really does moisturize. I applied this a few hours ago. Usually, I will apply it right before I'm gonna do my makeup. After that, I like to apply this lip serum. This this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster. This one is actually tinted. I also got the clear one, but I don't know what happened to it. I think I misplaced it. I mean, obviously, because I can't find it. I think it's very important to do this if you have to use a chapstick, whatever it is. I've done the mistake plenty of times before where I apply liquid lipsticks, lip gloss, you name it, and my lips are like crumbled up. Next, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever HD Skin Booster. I love this. I think it really refreshes the skin. I don't know what I was doing without them, but they're just so refreshing to the face and also very moisturizing. It makes your face feel very refreshed. I do apply a good amount. I like to also take this underneath the eyes just because I feel like it's very moisturizing. Moving on to foundation. So I'm using my Makeup Forever HD Stick and I have this in the color Y215. I think this is kind of my match, but I love the way that this mixes with a Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is just a regular liquid foundation and I have this in the color Y245. We're gonna swipe this across the face. And I wanna show you. Actually, this is way too white for me. I think this is my winter color or something. Right now for summer, I have been getting more tan, so I'm just in that point where I don't know my foundation color. I like to go very heavy with my foundation, and I know that's not a look for everyone. I went ahead and pumped two drops on my hand. I just like to spread this around. To blend out my foundation, I'm taking my Sigma 3D HD Blender Brush, Blender Brush, Blender Sponge. The great thing about sponges, in my opinion, they kind of check you when you're going a little bit too crazy with your makeup. It definitely absorbs some of the products. Now to highlight my face and conceal my under eye circles, I'm gonna be taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. I use the color Y215. I'm gonna show you, it is very pale on me. I don't think I ever found my actual color. I've just gotten really used to blending this out. This is very full coverage. It goes a very long way. So I'd like to apply the concealer just on my under eyes and whatever I have left, I just kind of like spread it on the rest of my T-zone. Now I'm gonna take my NARS, what is this? The Custard Concealer. This is not my color. So I like to actually blend it. So I like to apply this right under the concealer. Again, I'm gonna take my 3D HD sponge. I'm gonna use the bottom. Honestly, I don't even know if I use like most of the other sides. Like I love the bottom of this. You see how it's blending in really nicely? It kind of gave it an ombre look. I like to bring my concealers in the inner corner. It kind of slims out the nose a little bit. And I also like to apply this on the eyelid. I like to use concealers for eyeshadow primers. And then I'm just gonna take it on my chin and on my forehead. Now to pretty much bake the whole face, I'm gonna be taking my Aerospun Loose Powder. I think you guys already know by now that I love this. You know the drill, pack it on. I bake on an everyday as well, and I think it just works really great, especially for those that have oily skin. This is gonna really lock that face in place. Thank you. 
while I'm at it, I do like to set my eyelids as well and dust off all the extra powder. I have been using the Cheek Parade Benefit Palette every single day. This comes with the Hoola Light and the regular Hoola Bronzer. I like to mix them up sometimes. Today I'm just going to take the Hoola Bronzer because I'm feeling more of a bronzy look. I'm going to apply this bronzer right under the cheekbone. And I like to bring it up a little bit, kind of like towards a temple. We're also gonna take the forehead, of course. Bronzing slash contouring, whatever it is. I don't know, I feel like I'm bronzing at this point. I think it just brings a lot of life back into your face. I think when you just apply foundation, it can look just very flat. So I'm definitely a huge fan of this. I will just use my regular big brush. I think if I have more time in my hands, I will try to look for a clean small brush to contour the nose, but we all know I got no clean brushes right now. And it kind of Works. Your nose is more accurately snatched if you have a small brush. For blush, I've actually been mixing California and dandelion. I don't know why I mix these colors together all the time, but I love the combination of it. And honestly, they would look so beautiful separately. But since day one, I got so used to mixing them, and I feel like now I have to mix them. Like, I don't know why, honestly. Notice I'm focusing a lot of it up here and I slowly bring it in. I'm not the kind to bring it like all the way in the face because that just doesn't really go well with my face structure. Time for my favorite part, a highlighter. I am truly obsessed with this Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I've actually already hit pan. I think it is such a beautiful, very foiled, pigmented highlighter. And I like to apply this like right on that cheekbone. <gasps> You better come through. This is just one swipe. I think that's enough. Let's not forget the nose a little bit. And I've been doing this a lot recently where I literally apply this on my forehead and chin. Before I was like so afraid of doing this because my face would just look like a disco ball. But I've managed to just apply a little bit above the brows. And you know, depending on where you turn, you could see that highlight and then right on the chin. Just to clarify, I think the camera is making it seem like I have a hundred layers of blush on right now, but I really don't. Moving on to my eyes, I keep it very simple. This is a MAC palette with Makeup Geek eyeshadows in there. There's really only a couple MAC eyeshadows in there. The rest are Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek, I think, are hands down my absolute favorite eyeshadows. Today, I'm going to take the Purely Naked, and as you can see, I actually do use this quite often. So now I'm gonna take Frappe. As you can see, I use this color way too often. This is a medium brown, and I like to apply this on the crease. And I just quickly apply this on the outer part of the eye. I don't really go much into detail. I just do a couple swipes right in there, and that's about it. I honestly just get whatever mascara I have in my drawer. There's not really a specific one, but I have to say that this is one of my favorites. I think it's such a great one. For my top lashes, I don't always go in so crazy just because I know I'm gonna be applying false lashes. For the bottom, I do like to coat them very well. For false lashes, my favorite right now are the Lily Galici in the style of Miami. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on. And you're actually gonna notice one is shorter than the other because when I was taking off the glue, I accidentally ripped off the outer corner. This one's for sure a lot shorter. I've been using a lot of Makeup Forever stuff recently and I wasn't really into the brand till like now, I don't know. I've been using this brow pencil. This is in the number 50. I think this is the darkest shade they have. It has lasted me quite a minute. You know, it's not like the ones where you twist up and it kind of runs away, runs away, <laughs> runs out like super quick. I don't know, I love it. Moving on to my lips, one of my go-to lipsticks is this Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color Ophelia. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on my lips. So 
So this is how it looks with matte lips, but you guys know I love a glossy lip. Right now, I've been really obsessed with the Kylie gloss in the color So Cute. Last but not least, I'm gonna take my Ofra Makeup Fixer. You could tell just by looking at it, I use it a lot. It's very mistreated, and I love the way it smells. This is my favorite setting spray. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad I finally was able to film this. Look, I really hope you guys enjoyed my everyday makeup routine. Let me know in the comments down below what other videos would you guys like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.